welcome to our space at Galleria London in London, Ontario, Canada. This space perfectly reflects our approach to youth engagement and so we thought it was fitting for us to start here. The space was designed by youth. Design students helped paint and configure the space and youth at a local high school created the artwork. The walls are decorated with pictures of our youth volunteers with bands and celebrities that they've interviewed for the website and our bathroom is a graffiti friendly zone. The space is open and full of whimsy and that was purposeful on our part. When we were given the option to create walls to separate um, us in office space, we opted out and decided that we wanted an open exchange between staff and youth volunteers. There are strategic benefits to full transparency and when done well, we feel that your end consumer feels um, safety, a sense of belonging and ownership and that at the end of the day, it really is about them. MindYourMind.ca provides youth with the information, the resources, and the tools they need to help them reach out, get help, and give help. We work towards eliminating the stigma often associated with reaching out for help by involving youth at all aspects in, in terms of decision making, program planning, program delivery, content development and specifically in our case in the development of interactive tools that we have on our site. We operate on a feedback loop that begins and ends with youth and we are committed to creating communication platforms that um, allow youth to share their stories, to promote mental health and um, to connect with each other. We implement our mission by working with youth to develop tools that are relevant and reflective of their world view. We use pillars of youth culture like music, celebrity profiles, storytelling, gaming and video to deliver those messages. We're committed to getting youth the right information at the right time in the right format. We spent some time recently creating um, a mini manifesto, a document that, that could really reflect what we believe in and um, uh, demonstrate to others how we deliver our mission. And what we came to realize is that it really is a living document that evolves with every conversation that we have with youth. And um, we have some very creative, talented and committed staff who are engaged in those conversations with youth. And um, here they are. Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm the graphic and web designer. I also work with teams of youth to help execute their vision, especially the anti-stigma group, helping do their posters and everything else. That's me. Hi, my name is Silence. I'm the web community developer for MindYourMind.ca. I was initially hired in 2000, last year actually, um, as part of Get Real Nationwide, which was a groundbreaking program that allowed us to connect with different um, youth across Canada. My portfolio now includes uh, MindYourMindPro.ca, which is a website for professionals that work with youth. There's a whole lot of online tools that you can use to connect with youth, with your youth clients, and um, you know, achieve even better results. So that is what we're trying to do with the pro site, just um, get professionals more engaged, more connected in terms of the tools that are available for them to use with, with their youth clients. Hello, I'm Mark. I'm a web and multimedia developer. Uh, in addition to the main sites, I've worked on partner projects with nosmokingroom.org out of Boston, uh, iCope University, uh, some online training courses for Thames Valley uh, School Board, and Media for Change, which is a, an e-learning program based on Mind Your Mind's anti-stigma model. Hi, I'm Kyle and I'm the game developer here at Mind Your Mind. My role involves meeting with our youth volunteers and helping them create ideas for online tools and games. I develop those ideas into prototypes that we then gather more feedback on to produce a final product that meets both the creative vision of our youth participants and the educational information goals of ourselves and the client organizations we work with. This has been a dream job for me and I can say in all confidence that there is nothing else like Mind Your Mind out there. So first, the bad news. For the first time in history, youth can effectively prevent us from ever interrupting them again. And you can be sure for most youth, most of the time, our messages around mental health will be seen as an interruption, if not delivered in uh, an effective and relevant way. With hundreds of channels and millions of websites and countless other distractions, 
paying attention to you is quite simply precious. The good news is that the internet and communication technology has changed everything. It's driving innovation and it's allowing youth to create and customize their own broadcast mediums. They have Facebook, they have MySpace, they have Twitter, they have YouTube, they have blogging. So as service providers and educators, it's easier for us to sort out what they need, what they worry about, what they want and what they aspire to do because they have all of these different communication mediums to share that with us and each other. So how do we get their attention with all these distractions? Uh, we don't have all the answers, but we've learned a few things along the way. Permission engagement is a term that we use to describe the politics of what we do and how we do it. Permission engagement is based on um, permission marketing and the concepts around that. And although we're not marketers, we certainly look to marketing trends, specifically social marketing trends, to understand how we position our messages with youth. Permission engagement really looks at how we sell youth on the notion of change. And that begins by reframing the relationships we build with them. Hi, my name is Francesca. I've been with Mind Your Mind for four years now. I've participated in two anti-stigma campaigns. We developed two posters, one sticker, two postcards, and two media pieces. I was also fortunate to be hired as a summer student for two years. In my second year, myself and another student wrote the questions for the reach out game that is played across the country and in our local schools. The thing about Mind Your Mind is they care about what youth say. They take everything we say and use it to build the website and help make it better. Hi, I'm Diana, and I've been with MindYourMind.ca since 2006. I am the Content Development and Administrative Officer. Over the years, we have developed partnerships with representatives from Universal, Sony, Warner, and other independent music labels. These relationships have provided us with access to local, national, and international artists. For example, we've interviewed artists such as Billy Talent, Fall Out Boy, Goo Goo Dolls, Plain White Tees, and uh, Bare Naked Ladies, just to name a few. Maintaining a celebrity presence is a relevant and meaningful way to engage young fans. And talking about issues such as stress on the road, losing a loved one to suicide, and other mental health issues, these stories resonate with youth that have to deal with similar circumstances and provide messages of hope. Hi, my name's Heather. I'm the Youth Projects and Volunteer Coordinator with MindYourMind.ca. Over the past four years, I've had the pleasure of working with many, many youth volunteers. They have contributed over 5,000 volunteer hours to MindYourMind.ca. We have a strong presence in our local community with our youth volunteers. We contribute in community health fairs, high school presentations, alternative high schools, hospital settings, day treatment programs, and group homes. Just in the last year, over 4,000 youth have participated in our local community health fairs and outreach programs. Last year was very exciting for us as we initiated our pilot project of our Get Real Nationwide campaign. This is an anti-stigma program that collaborated 11 youth across Canada from British Columbia to PEI, Newfoundland, and all the way up north to the Yukon and Northwest Territories. This is very exciting because we've never seen this done before. As far as we know, it hasn't been done. And the use of web conferencing software, phone conferencing, chat, uh, whiteboards, and um, instant messaging was an engaging and relevant way for the youth to stay in contact with us. The goal of this campaign was to provide youth with the tools and information they need to design promotional and print materials that will help reduce the stigma around mental health and create an awareness in their home communities. Their job was to not only create these tools but committed to bringing these tools back to their home communities at the end. If you had told me a couple of years ago that I would be working alongside a, a web developer, a games developer, um, a graphic designer, I wouldn't have believed you. Uh, I'm a registered nurse, um, and so the virtual setting is all new to me. My name is Christine Geringer, and I am the pro site coordinator and educator for mindyourmind.ca. I believe that we have an important place uh, in a community of mental health professionals. Um, we don't